All right, so this tour is going to take you on an exterior and interior look at this 2020 Kia Soul. Like I say, just over 70,000 kilometers. This is a one owner vehicle. We're going to show you all the dings, dents, scratches, or lack thereof. You don't need to zoom in. I'll get in nice and close so you can see what we're looking at. And we're also going to talk about all the great features on this vehicle. Now, the Kia Soul is arguably the most recognizable vehicle on the road. Um, obviously, a very unique design, and you're going to see that as we take our tour here today. Now, underneath the hood, we have a two liter four cylinder engine, 147 horsepower, but best of all, you get fantastic fuel mileage. You're going to average down into the low sevens for fuel economy on this if you baby it around. But if you want to, you know, use all that horsepower, you're going to probably average out around eight. So between seven and eight liters per hundred, but makes it a very, very fuel efficient vehicle. Now on the EX, you can see these beautiful LED daytime running lights, projector headlights, and then the fog lights down below. Nice encasement there with plastic. And then we have the piano black finish on the fog light housing. And then as we take a step back, you can see some more driving lights down here in the front grill and a really, really nice looking front grill, I must say. Now, as we take a little bit closer look here, there is one little stone chip right here, right on the front of the hood. So a little bit of touch up paint there will make that look nice and bright and better. And then as we come around the side here, you get a nice close look at this other side of the front bumper and it looks really nice. Now, as we take a step back, gonna give you a nice side profile view because that's what is most recognizable on the sole is this, uh, for lack there, of a toaster box kind of uh, shape, but it's obviously form follows function and you can fit an absolute ton of stuff into a Kia Soul but it is a compact size. This is considered a compact um, SUV or crossover. I don't know, really, it's kind of a mix of everything, right? Um, now, one thing I did note here, and I didn't see this before we started, but there is a little bit of a scuff here on the paint. Now, this here looks like some of this may polish out. There's a little bit of a chip in the paint, so we're gonna have our detail shop, see what we can do about that. But worst case scenario, if you did want that kind of blown in and blended in with some paint, we can get you a quote for that um, just to get it kind of fixed up. A little bit of a stone chip there too. Um, so we could get you a quote to see what it would cost to fix that. Little blemish, but it's very cosmetic, very minor. A little bit of touch up paint and a buff will make that kind of lighten up quite a bit. Won't look as bad. Now we've got 16 inch alloy wheels on the EX model. You got these nice alloy wheels. You can see some nice tires on there as well. And then taking a step back, we've got the turn signals in the mirrors. And then I want to show you this really cool detail on the back of the sole, which is, it's got a very floating roof design. You can see that lunar orange paint up top there. And then this nice trim piece here that says sole kind of gives it that floating roof design here. But you can see, I love the detail that they put there. And then the rear tail lights of the vehicle as well are just fantastic. At nighttime, this all lights up. It looks very bright, very clear, and really gives it a nice luxury look on the back of the sole. The rear tailgate here looks to be in fantastic condition. You can see you've got the black bumper on the back here, so that way nothing gets scratched up, but the tailgate looks really, really nice. Got that EX badge there as well. And then we'll pop open the trunk. And this is where you can see that there's just so much room in the back here for all your luggage, all your goods. Maybe you're going to Costco or Ikea. You can fold down either side of those seats or both sides if you like. And then underneath here, We've got some even more storage there. You can see also we've got the uh, carpeted mats as well. We take those out so they don't get dirty when people are looking at the vehicle and test driving it. But we'll close her back up. Coming around to the passenger side. Everything looks nice and clean back here. You can kind of see this Luna owner paint now in the uh, shadows and it gives it a much darker look, but it's got a lot of metallic flake in the paint, which you can see right here. All that metallic paint looks like a bass boat. It's got such a beautiful paint on it. Now let's go take a look at the inside. We'll start with the rear seats and that head into the front. Rear seats in the back look like they've never been sat in. Nice and tidy back here. No rips, tears, stains, burns. We've also got an armrest here that folds down. Oh, it's so tight. I don't think it's ever been used. There we go. Armrest folds down with some cup holders. We also have a USB port in the back. So that way, if you got the little ones back there, everything stays charged in, charged up, I should say. <laughs> Makes uh, road trips a little bit easier, right? Can I get an amen from the parents? Front seats, great shape. 
Again, no rips, tears, stains, burns. Definitely a non-smoker vehicle. Smells fantastic. We've got that nice contrast with the uh, charcoal gray and then the black fabric up top as well. It is a height adjustable seat too. So that way you can sit up nice and high. That's actually one of the big compliments that we do get from the soul is that you do sit up nice and tall in the vehicle, which is nice, gives you a nice good view of the road. Um, obviously a little bit better for safety. And speaking of safety, let's talk about some of the great safety features on the EX model. So first and foremost, the most obvious one here is up front. You can see that little kind of weird thing in the mirror. That is your blind spot warning. And that activates if there's a vehicle in your blind spot. So that way you don't go pulling into traffic. We have lane keeping assist, which is going to mark the road uh, markings on the road and keep you in your lane and let you know if you're drifting out of it. We've got uh, excuse me, rear cross traffic alert and the collision avoidance, which is fantastic. Forward collision avoidance as well. Um, so what that means is obviously the forward collision avoidance measures traffic in front of you or objects in front of you. If it detects something, it will warn you. And if you don't grab the brakes quick enough, it can apply the brake for you. And then the same thing in reverse. So when we put it in reverse, you can see we've got a nice big clear rear view camera. But let's say you're pulling out of a parking spot at the mall and you know you got cars to each side of it and you can't see around them. It actually uses the sonar on the rear to see if there's any other vehicles coming that you might not be able to see. It will alert you in the mirror and can even stop for you so that way you don't go pulling into oncoming traffic as you're backing out of a parking spot. Um, one of the neat things that, so here's your, uh, as I mentioned that, here's your blind spot warning, your rear cross traffic alert, your lane keeping assist are out there. We have the idle engine shut off as well. So it will shut off the engine if you are just at a stop light a little bit longer than normal, or maybe stop and go traffic to help you conserve a little bit of fuel. Um, and we even have heated windshield washer nozzles on the sole, which is fantastic for Ontario because let's face it, there's nothing worse than putting on your windshield wipers and it's cold fluid it all warms up and defrost your uh, window really nice and quick. We've got automatic headlights. I'll turn those now on so that way, I was just trying to show you the headlights there. On the steering wheel, we've got your radio controls and Bluetooth controls on the left. Our cruise controls are on the right as well as our menu button here for our onboard computer. And this is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel as well, which is so nice in the winter time. Gets it nice and warm. Looking up in the odometer here, 70,955 kilometers on the sole. So nice and low kilometers there. And you can see that with obviously the condition of the vehicle too being such a nice shape. Moving over to the infotainment system here, first and foremost, yes, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available. So what that means is you plug in your cell phone and if it's an Apple phone, this will all change to your Apple uh, mobile app. Same thing for Android. And it allows you to use your digital music like Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you like. It also allows you to reply to your text messages just using your voice to text. So you don't pick up your phone. You save yourself that big, expensive, dangerous ticket. Um, and it allows you to do that as well. That's the most important feature as far as I'm concerned. Um, the other neat thing is that obviously you can then use things like Apple Maps. So your navigation then is on board as well. You get real-time traffic updates, all those great things, even if you want to use Waze if you're an Android user. Um, and that all updates too. So this whole screen becomes more uh, like your cell phone interface rather than the key interface. But there's nothing wrong with the Kia one. We've got AM, FM, satellite radio. Um, using the home screen, you can see it's all touchscreen. We've got your menu system here. So you can see you've got your setup, you've got a couple of different other uh, features there. And then, as I mentioned, when we put it in reverse, we have that nice big rear view camera as well. Now, looking down here, we've got our heating and air conditioning controls. And one thing is kind of tucked away, but that little shelf there is your wireless charging. So on the EX model, you do get a wireless charger. You drop your phone in there and it will start to charge for you. And we also have the USB input as well. So if you're using your Apple Music, or pardon me, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, that's where you would use that. We have a nice leather wrap shifter and then down the sides of the center console are our heated seats, driver and passenger, and our heated steering wheel button as well. And then we have the drive mode button. Drive mode, you'll see here in the dash, we go from sport and to normal. And it just depends on how you want to drive. If you want to uh, keep it in normal, you're going to get obviously the best fuel economy possible. If you put it in sport, you get a little bit uh, more horsepower to there. So you get your whole 147 horse. Now look at the nice detail we have here up on the trim as far as the front dashboard here, just kind of giving you a little bit better tour rather than a zoomed in one. Now, before you go, 
another very important piece of information is the Carfax. So this is gonna verify if this has any accidents, uh, the ownership history and any service records you can see here for the 2020 Kia Soul. It is a one owner vehicle. There is an accident found. I'm gonna show you that in just a second, stay tuned. Um, registered in Ontario, 16 service records as well, which is great to have. So let's kind of go into this detail a little bit quick uh, here while we're got this, because obviously the biggest question is, oh no, an accident, nah, minor, take a look. So you can see here it was reported in Hamilton in Ontario. There was minor damage with another motor vehicle. This was in October, yeah, October 2020. And the actual claim amount, you can see here through the insurance, the claim, which is the lower dollar value, is $4,258. Now to give you an idea what $4,258 buys you on a vehicle, it's not a heck of a lot. You gotta take your HST off of that, so right away take 13% off. Then you gotta take your labor. Your labor on a body shop is anywhere from $120 to $160 an hour. That doesn't get you a whole lot when you talk about replacing a part or even just painting uh, a rear bumper of a vehicle. It can cost anywhere from $800 to $1,200 just to paint a rear bumper. Um, you add in maybe a tail light or a sensor or something like that. These dollar amounts get up there really quickly. So a $4,200 uh, claim, as you can see here, very minor damage. Uh, nothing to really be worried about with that. But it is full disclosure. We tell you everything we know about the car. So that's why we're discussing that today. Um, also, there was a glass record found, which means that they replaced the front uh, windshield here on the vehicle as well. That happens. I mean, stone ships, ugh, they're the worst, right? Um, the service records you can see here, though, starting at 7,800 kilometers, it has service records for the entire length of the vehicle, which is really, really important to know that this vehicle is obviously serviced and maintained um, in accordance with what Kia has recommended, which is fantastic. Um, that just means that you know that this car was loved, well cared for, and other than the minor little um, boo-boo of the uh, minor accident, it's in fantastic condition. So folks, there are two ways you can buy this beautiful Kia. First and foremost, you could visit us here in Bowmanville at our store. We've got a fantastic sales team just ready and waiting to put you behind the wheel of this soul with you and your family. Or if you'd like, you can buy this entirely online. We do offer delivery to residents in Ontario, so you can purchase the vehicle online, um, and then we will call you and kind of review all the details, make sure that you're happy with the purchase, review your options, and then have this vehicle ready to be delivered to your house, just like Amazon Prime, because it is your experience, your way here at Clarence to Kia, and we're just happy that you're interested in purchasing a vehicle from us, whether it's online or in store. So thank you so much for watching. Congrats to whoever purchases this beautiful soul, and we can't wait to speak to you soon.